Hello everyone and welcome to another video. For the past several months, Arch-based Manjaro offers a very handy option to boot from a selection of snapshots in the Grub menu. This is of course only available to you if you have your root partition set to ButterFS. In this short tutorial, I will demonstrate how to set this up on Endeavor OS and other vanilla Arch-based systems. While setting up the Grub ButterFS AUR package is not very difficult, the order in which you install the components is critical for the snapshot monitoring and capture to work properly. So let's go. Uh, here's our Endeavor OS machine that I've pre-installed. So we'll skip over the installation part of the operating system itself. Let's log into LightDM. And so this is the default XFCE Endeavor OS uh, desktop environment. For simplicity's sake, let's make sure with Yay, which is the default package manager for Endeavor OS uh, that we're up to date. Looks like we are. And uh, let's run NeoFetch quickly to show you what we've got here. XFCE 4.16 as per default with Endeavor OS, Atlantis Neo. 473 megabytes used, that's fairly light for XFCE. Um, very, uh, very useful to know that XFCE can be made light. Let's launch Firefox. And uh, here I've got as my homepage, the Arch Linux Wiki. Fantastic gold standard resource for all things Arch related, as well as much of Linux in general. St strongly encourage you uh, to really study it if you haven't already, if you're interested in Linux and how Linux works and Arch Linux in particular. So in prior tutorials, I've uh, suggested using Snapper. Now, restoring uh, root a partition to a previous snapshot with Snapper, you had to first boot into a live Arch Linux USB CD and then mount the top level sub volume. And then you got to find the snapshot you want to recover from uh, in this directory. And uh, yeah, you've got to dig around for it. And since all of these snapshots are read only, you need to convert the read-only snapshot to a read-write snapshot uh, with the command given. So anyway, yeah, this is not too hard, but a lot of things can go wrong and uh, you're stressed out anyway when you're doing disaster recovery. So I'd like to do what Manjaro does uh, for Endeavor OS here and Vanilla Arch and use Antinia's grub-butterfs uh, project, which includes ButterFS snapshots at boot options via the Grub menu. Uh, it's a very, very nifty uh, project. They are at version 4 already, and you can donate your Bitcoin here at this address. Definitely consider doing that. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, project. So it improves Grub by adding ButterFS snapshots to the Grub menu, and you can boot your system on a snapshot from the Grub menu. Uh, uh, supports snap manual snapshots, snapper, time shift. Again, like I just mentioned, snapper is read-only and that can be tricky to handle as it says here. So let's just focus on something easy. Let's use time shift. Time shift is great, has come a long way over the past couple of years. Um, so Grub ButterFS provides automatic listing of snapshots existing on the root partition, ButterFS only. Automatically detecting if slash boot is a separate partition, automatically detecting kernel, init RAM FS, and Intel AMD microcode directory, uh, automatically create corresponding uh, menu entry for each snapshot, automatically detect the type tags and description comments of the snapshots. Uh, in this case, we're still using time shift snapshots. Um, automatically generate uh, grub.configuration if you use the provided system D service, which we're going to be doing in this video. So that's the scope. Um, 
provides installation instructions for Arch Linux and also Gentoo and some other Linux distributions, but the primary focus here seems to be Arch and Arch-based systems. So let's go back to the terminal here. Uh, let's clear it and uh, let's do a yay dash s grub dash butterfs. That installs the AUR package that we just looked at um, with their website. And there it's done. And uh, let's go to the terminal. And let's sudo grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg and uh, hit enter and it'll install the new configurations for grub butterfs no snapshots found but it installs successfully so you can also take a look at the uh, grub butterfs config file that's in slash etsy slash default slash grub dash butterfs slash config as you can see, um, there are a lot of configurables that you can take a look at and customize uh, to your liking. We won't do this in this video to keep it as simple and as short as possible, but it's there if you need it. All right. Let's go ahead and reboot the system since we've reconfigured Grub. As you can see, we have our standard um, Grub entries still, as before. All right, let's log in to our Light Display Manager. Okay, we're back on the desktop. Let's open up the terminal. Let's make sure we're still up to date. Just type yay and I'll enter my sudo password. So it looks like all the databases are up to date, including AUR. So let's take a look at uh, the file system table because time shift really only needs um, uh, the root subvolume and the slash home subvolume. Those two subvolumes. If you have those two uh, ButterFS subvolumes, you're ready to go for time shift. So let's. Uh, go ahead and uh, continue here. They also have var cache and var log. That's set up by the Calamares installer that Endeavor OS uses. So um, let's go ahead and install TimeShift with yay dash capital S TimeShift dash autosnap. And that should also pull in as a dependency TimeShift itself. So autosnap, what it does when every time you update is it takes a time shift snapshot read write so there it is time shift as the uh as the dependency we're going to build it not rely on uh the binary aur package uh, that will take a little bit it should be done in a moment and we'll have both time shift and time shift dash auto snap installed looks like that happened successfully. So let's reboot again. Just to be sure. We've got all the configuration changes captured. So let's log in. All right, back home. So um, let's launch time shift. So we have grub dash butterfs already configured. So uh, when I do the initial setup wizard where I uh, stick with all the defaults, um, the wizard will recognize that we have grub dash butterfs already uh, installed. That's where the order of installation is so important. Let's create our first uh, snapshot. As you can see, there it is. Now, if we just go ahead and reboot, 
now, after we create our first snapshot, you'll see you still don't have the snapshot menu to boot from. So let's do that next. Let's boot up into the default grub menu entry as before. And uh, let's actually uh, configure the uh, monitoring service. So in order to do that, we have to launch TimeShift and have that running so that uh, the uh, monitoring service can detect that we are actually using TimeShift as our snapshotter. And so it knows where to look for those snapshots that TimeShift provides. So we can do that by doing a sudo systemctl enable dash dash now grub dash butterfs dot path. And that's what where the magic happens, where it automatically captures uh, changes um, to your snapshot directory. So let's check for the mounts that has everything. So systemctl status grub dash btrfs dot path. Okay, it's active and loaded. And uh, yeah, ready to rock with the monitors for new time shift snapshots, as it says. So let's do a system CTL dash T mount. And here you've got the list of all the uh, unit and the mounts. So run time shift backup is where our snapshots are located. So uh, that unit is actually working. Uh, without this mount, uh, none of this will work. So you want to make sure that this is working as you see here. All right, that looks good. So um, we're almost done, we just need to test. So let's install another package. Let's do yay dash capital S LibreOffice dash fresh because a default Endeavor OS XFCE install doesn't have any office packages. So let's fix that by installing quickly uh, LibreOffice, the fresh version, which is 7.3.0. Okay. And there it is. Now if you Go to the main Endeavor OS menu under Office. You get all your LibreOffice packages ready and available. Good. That's as expected. Let's uh, go back to Time Shift here. Let's create another snapshot. That's uh, post uh, LibreOffice install. I've got two Time Shift. Uh, uh, snapshots, time shift snapshots here available. So let's reboot and see what grub butterfs does. Ah, and there we go. We've got Endeavor OS snapshots way at the bottom here. Let's go in there to Endeavor OS snapshots and hit enter. And um, there we go. There we have our two snapshots uh, in reverse chronological order, as you can see. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and boot the uh, latest snapshot and log in. So now we're booted from a read-write snapshot. So once you do that, you'll need to run time shift as soon as possible and uh, so we're running this live right now. So what you want to do is you want to restore to this latest snapshot in order to make uh, the system sync up and all everything working again. So this is a live before restoring. So you've just restored it. So now you need to reboot again. And as you can see, the snapshot menu is gone again because you, you now fully recovered. So um, let's go ahead with the uh, default 
grub menu item and boot from that and log into light display manager all right so now we've got to resync our snapshots again so if we go to launch time shift again enter my sudo password you've got all three snapshots here uh, so you want those to sh show up again you just hit create and create another manual snapshot and there it is in uh, forward chronological order as you can see so the grub menu is reverse chronological order right so let's reboot and see if our grub menu is back again so let's restart and there it is now it should capture all three of your snapshots that you that you just manually created 243 47 and 49. all right um Good. So that's back to normal. Let's do some more testing here. Let's get totally radical. Let me go ahead and launch a terminal and simulate a destroyed system. So we're going to destroy um, this installation. Uh, don't do this on a production machine, obviously. Uh, this is this is a virtual machine, so I don't care if it's destroyed or not. But we need to test disaster recovery, right? So let's sudo rm-fr slash etsy. Don't do this on a system that you would like to preserve. This destroys your installation. Don't do it unless you want to test a virtual machine. All right. So that's done. Our system is destroyed since slash etc and all the configuration files and everything are not there anymore. So if we reboot, you can see our snapshots there, but let's try to have a standard boot. And as you can see, it says, uh, welcome to your new installation of Endeavor OS. Please configure your system. Yes, all your configurations have been blown away. So yeah, you can press any key to proceed, but let's not do that. Uh, let's recover from this disaster using the snapshot menu in Grub. So let me uh, shut down this virtual machine and let's reboot it. And instead, let's go to the snapshots and let's select the last snapshot from 2.49 this afternoon. And we won't use the fallback, but the regular Linux image and boot that up and see if we got our system back again. And yes, we did. So we've got a running system again, which is part of our mission today. So if I go ahead and check that our office installation is still there. Yep, our office programs are back. So yeah, it looks like everything worked. Let's launch time shift. Put in my password for sudo. And there they are. So uh, yeah, you definitely want to choose your, like we did before, the uh, snapshot you're currently running and uh, uh, restore from that. And then reboot and you're back in business again. Assuming you don't run into a disk failure or some other hardware issues, I feel Time Shift Auto Snap and Grub ButterFS together make a great no stress disaster recovery solution. This is in no way a substitute for proper off site backups. Thanks so much for watching, and if this was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care.